The same button for interact is the same button for sword. Gets a bit jarring sometimes. That's not what I was expecting I was interacting with, but you know what? Alright, sure. I wanted to get through here past this, like, stone thing. I, yeah, I can't punch it. I don't know. Alright, so we get another green cache. Yeah, so this this proves that, that that map thing was all of the, uh... Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what this proves. We get another blueprint. Warp through. Teleport through enemies. All right, I forget that I can I can actually do a teleport dash. Uh, do I destroy this? No. I do something with it. Oh, oh, we're back to robot. The power's back on. Well, there's still probably stuff that I'm missing, so let's... Uh, this isn't... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We've already been there, I think. Yeah, we've already been there. I swear, there's got to be more... Wait, what? Oh. He reset in his position. Interesting enough. That's confusing. It looks like there's like a dungeony thing down below too. I feel like I've missed stuff back here. I could be wrong, but I want to say there's there's got to be there's got to be something a little bit of uh, there's got to be a little bit of something something or other somewhere around around here that I that I've missed. Well, then again, they just took away my ladder, so I guess I have properly found everything... Everything with this zone, because I can't get back up. Yeah, alright. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> there's nothing... there's nothing left for you here. Leave. Does that mean... I'm still missing... I'm still missing that sword piece. Well... I'll get back down into that dungeon, unless unless there really is, like, something else over, like, on the right. Because there was an area over on the right. I mean, obviously, we got this, like, right here. Unless I can, like, just scooch right past it. No, nope, no scooching. Alright. I have officially... Oh! Nope, can't destroy those. I have officially given up. We'll, we'll come back later. I'll, I'll do completionism when we need to. Um, probably once the game is out and once, uh, smarter people than I have, uh, have found out stuff that I, I clearly have not. Well, yeah, probably, maybe, maybe not smarter, but definitely more dedicated. Are we, well, I guess I'm just supposed to go this way. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can use these now. Do we... Decimal system. Do we get through here? I wonder how much has been repowered. Because we got that there. We got a lot of things. Can you not warp past the wall? Oh, that's an interesting con consideration. Okay, let's go back. Again. Let's see if I can warp past grading. I don't think so. This game probably would have been very explicit about the ability to do so. Yeah, no. I don't think warp behind is going to do it. I, I think our ability to get to the other side of that grate is something later. Like, a fair bit later. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Wait, <laughs> he teleported. He teleported. Now he's over here. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay, he did move. 
Because earlier he did, he hadn't moved. He was supposed to have moved there, but when I like backtracked, he he reset. Oh, now he's telling me where to go. Oh. Oh hi. Now that's cool looking. Uh, ladder, ladder. I wonder if the secrets that I missed are actually in like the little sub dungeons I I hadn't been to yet, or I had been to. Uh, but just found, like, the little explorables. I'll have to check that later. As soon as I get a teleporter, I might go back. Because I, I want to make some progress, but mainly I just want to be able to fast travel around. I love watching the creatures go through the grasses. I think that is a really, really cool mechanic. Grass is one of those things that, for years, games just have not been able to, like, handle well. Uh, and like even right now, it's just kind of like a, a flat 2D model in a 3D space that is just kind of layered repeatedly. Uh, to give kind of the illu illusion of grass? The, the effect of grass, I don't know. Uh, yeah, actually it looks like this area is pretty good too. I'm almost immediately going to jinx it. Oh yeah. Make sure I don't die here. These guys hurt. Luckily, they're cutting the grass down for me. Are they hitting each other? Yeah, okay. Spoke too soon. Might act. No, it's probably not the, the grass that would do it. There we go. 79. Yeah, if we can start finding some of those flower things, we could actually... Flower? The bugs. If we can start finding some of those bugs, we can actually... Oh, there's a golem. I assume he's going to be reachable through that gate there, which is a later thing. Okay. Let me see. Anything Anything else here? Feels like I'm missing it. Uh, here? No. The problem is we've got, like, thorny plants on the other side, and looks... I wonder if we get to clear that out at some point. Bug and wall, jump left. What, this thing? No, that's not it. So, when I'm talking about bugs, I'm talking about that thing. It's very clearly marked on the map. But we do want to go up here. Whoops. I messed that one up. But yeah, that that's that's not the bug I'm I'm looking for. These are not the bugs you are looking for. Yeah, we're looking for metal bugs. Because if I can get eight of them, that's how I can get my, uh... That's how I can get my big metal mitt on a new character skin. Uh, which gives me a speed boost. Not sure how much I need a speed boost, but still, useful. Also, here's the music that we were looking for. We didn't we didn't really have it uh, running earlier for whatever reason. Maybe the dungeon just didn't have much. Okay, well let's go back. I want to I want to go see I want to go check. Uh, I want to I want to see if these like little uh, entry points are considered part of the same dungeon. Okay, so if I press start here... No, they're not even considered part of the dungeon, so I really did miss uh, a sword piece in the... Uh, do I... How much do I care? I mean, I, act I actually care quite a lot. That we missed... That we missed the, the sword upgrade. Well, I think I'll still give it, uh, give it a day or two or something. Let's, uh, head up here. Oh, yeah, golden bit. We already know where that is. I like the fact that it's marked on the map, so... Coming back. 
If you guys want, I can go back uh, and try and kind of run through that dungeon again to find the sword. Otherwise, I can keep progressing. And yes, I know one of those holes had a hand. I, I've already been through that. I know the whole area. Obviously, not that well, but I've been through those. Oh, ow. Nope, can't destroy those. There's just like that weird grating there. Ow. Okay, so he's got his own. Woo. Yeah, he's got his own dash strike. That hurts. Luckily, there's like zero penalties for this. Get back here, you weird, like, gremlin dog. He is going to get me killed. But I did want the, uh, I did want the goodies. Okay, yeah, gotta watch out for the shooter plants. They're jerks. For lucky, we actually just immediately get to go into a dungeon. Looks like getting in is gonna be a little bit more complicated. Yeah, okay, we're gonna need some stuff. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, part of my temptation for going back to find that sword bit is... Wait, is this gonna kill that critter? Nope. Just kinda pisses it off a little bit. Oh, that's okay. Gets us this. No, this is already active. I wonder if all of those are active, actually. Oh. Is this how we get to the... Yeah, this is how we get get to this dead golem here. I still feel really weird about uh, crushing the hearts of dead golems. Hey, we got our second uh, power, power bar. Uh, oh, jeez, I am supposed to make that jump. Oof. Wait, can I? No, I... Oh! Does that normally set everything <laughs> on fire? It might, actually. Let's just get back to... Oh, hi. Well, it ain't that convenient. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it over there. Yeah, okay, so you can... You can, um... Warp. I keep jousting these guys, and it's not working out exactly that well for me. It's interesting how, uh... Here, uh... I'm actually gonna turn down the music a little bit. This might be a little bit loud for some people. Back to where it was. It was just so quiet earlier. Yeah, it's interesting how um, how you can actually kind of hear the Diablo influence in the soundtrack, or at least I feel I feel like it. Like um, like obviously it's got its own elements, but I I hear like a little bit of Tristram in there. Was it Tristram? I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm uh, I'm hearing things that weren't it uh, that you know, aren't supposed to be there, aren't meant to be there, aren't whatever. Uh, I just, it feels like I'm hearing s something very familiar at the very back back end of everything. Okay, so this gets us back to where we were. Okay, do we go back for that? Yeah, let's go back for that heart piece. We're gonna have to deal with a little bit of chug to get there, though. But we've got a couple of gates that we might be able to get to uh, as well, so back Backtracking is probably worthwhile anyway. I just also like backtracking, even with the, uh... With the mild chuggage. Okay, there was nothing back over here. Where are the sword parts in a new area? Well, it is and it isn't. So the thing is, there's a sword part... There's multiple sword parts in, in each area. Um, but that dungeon specifically had two collectibles that I had not found yet. So, um, 
the sword part is in a new area. You are correct about that. But there's a sword part that I missed, too. It's over there. How do we get back there? Oh, we got a gate over on the left. Maybe I can get to this. Same composer. Mac uh, Wellman. Well then! Or Mac. Matt Wellman. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm, I'm apparently way more tired than I thought. Uh, thoughts. But yeah, it is, it's the same composer. Alright, so I, I, I'm not a, a crazy person for thinking I'm hearing uh, similar sounds. Now, is he with uh, Runic full-time, or do you guys just pull him, uh, did you just pull him out for this project and maybe Torchlight? Okay, so we've been here, but we got new stuff that I can do, because this is all powered up. Okay, oh, this is this is where I started. Doesn't look like there's anything I can do in here, but that's fine. Okay, so it's over to the left. The pod was. Yeah, the more I listen to this, the more I, the more I hear Tristram specifically. And that's cool. I mean, obviously the techno elements not so much so, but the. I should look up what he does. Uh, like what games he's composed for. I, for the longest time, I wasn't particularly um, interested in game music composers. Oh, that's interesting. The deer things are totally static when I'm really far away. But, I... I want to say, uh, it was specifically, uh, Jesper Kid and... Hey, the gates are open. Okay, so we can get over here, too. Uh, Jesper Kid and... Why am I incapable of remembering his name right now? He's, like, one of my favorite composers. The guy that did Journey. Um, his work. Uh, on Journey and, and other such games. Yeah, there's, there's something with that. But we don't get that till later. Uh, Austin Wintry, there we go. Uh, oh yeah. That doesn't look okay. I assume we get the ability to deal with the purple, uh, weird corruption stuff. Diablo, Diablo 2, Torchlight, and, uh, Torchlight 2, and Hob. Well, by that, he would do, <laughs> by that logic, he'll do Diablo 2, Torchlight, uh, Diablo, Diablo 2, Torchlight, Torchlight 2, and Hob, and Hob 2. I'm not actually uh, saying that that needs to happen, but like, this this is a good enough game that I'd totally see a sequel. Not sure if uh, multiplayer, but definitely would like to see a sequel. Well, just because this is solid stuff. Yeah, so we have this whole area, oops, that we haven't properly uh, interacted with. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if we wanted to do that, actually. Or maybe we did. We did. There was something that I couldn't reach earlier, but I don't know if I'm going to be be able to reach it anyway. It's whatever that is, but we couldn't do this this zone previously. I couldn't get through it. Ah, that, that. It does look like there's something back there. Maybe if I interact with the hand thing. Uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. If I interact with the hand thing, wait. Oh, did he already? Oh, no. He didn't already interact with this. I was wondering. Huh. Okay. That's not actually what I was expecting it would do. Vacation time is the only thing planned at this point. Totally understandable. I mean, you guys have been working on this for. Somewhere, I, I swear I saw this back in like 2014 or, or like rumors of Hob, because they keep going by. Every time I go to a convention, I will see the runic, um, I will see the runic booth, and I'll be like, nope, can't go anywhere near that, because if I do, I learn things about Hob that I do not want to learn.
Like, I'm, I'm actually very specifically anti-spoilery. Uh, or at least I, I try very hard to be anti-spoilery. Uh, whenever, whenever I get the chance. I don't think I can do much with this. What the, what the heck is this? Anyway. Oh. Yeah, whatever it is, I don't think I can interact with it. We need a we need a special sword for this. Yeah, I can't fist fist my way through it. All right, yep, leaving this for later. I don't think it's a sword piece. I think I think we found uh, a, a mystery to solve at a much later date. Um, yeah, so I'm not making any progress here. Let's let's just progress. I need the whole sword. Well, I already have a whole sword, unless I got to get more, because thing is, we gotta find, uh, effectively, four whole swords, question mark. Okay, um, we got one last area maybe to check out. And then we'll go back to progress. I just had to see what we had back here, because I think there's, yeah, there's a hand symbol here that does something. <laughs> or nothing, actually. Oh, unless that gets us to the, the plant thing with the HP. We also did have whatever this was back here. Because this is active now, whatever this is. Nope. Ain't act it ain't active. Alright, yeah, so let's, let's see if I can get over into the... No, I don't think I can get over into here. Because we we either need, like, some kind of turbo bushwhacking. Maybe the next sword upgrade will do it. Oh. There's a warp point there. Huh. I just want to see if I can get in. I just want to see if I can get in anywhere. I'm, I'm mostly just wasting time for reasons. Yeah, we've got this grate here. Maybe? Either, either that or we get the ability to chop down, chop down healthy bushes. Well, I I give up. Let's uh, let's actually make some progress. Uh, it also does feel like the uh, the chugs aren't as bad, but maybe that's just me getting used to them. Okay, a lot of stuff. Does the stuff I haven't collected, does it have a bigger, um... I don't know if it actually has a, a bigger outline. Yet. Okay. So I'm here. I assume we go back down. I'm, I'm just trying to catch my bearings, figure out where we want to go on this. Ow! Stupid plants. Suddenly reminded of a game. You know what? These these vent things might actually be how we get to that one area. Because I see them all over the place. Maybe it, Maybe we get the ability to, like, go through vents or something. Okay, so how do we... We probably go down here. Cause I don't think I ever actually went this way. Uh... Well, I'm supposed to kind of go through here. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. We opened up the tower. But did I... I don't think I opened it up enough. Oh. I did. Yeah, so this is this is where I'm supposed to be. But 
The chugs actually are kind of helpful. I used to play, uh... Oh. Oh. We probably don't want to do this, actually. I used to play, uh, Neopets, embarrassingly enough. Maybe embarrassingly? I don't know. I... I don't really experience a whole lot of shame in life. Usually when I'm watching somebody else do something embarrassing. Uh, I myself am a little bit... Not exempt, but... Oops. Missed? I don't know. Immune? Damn it! Well, at least we've got a shortcut for the way back. Sort of. Ow. Um. But I, I do experience, like, secondary shame all the time. Okay. So I don't actually need to rush this nearly as much as I was. Don't experience shame. Teach me your ways. I don't think I can. I think it's just kind of one of those where eventually you just kind of grow to accept the fact that uh, you actually have nothing to really be ashamed of. I... Oh. Shortcuts. Shortcuts in video games make me so happy. It feels so good. Yeah, so I played Neopets as a kid. Um... And, you know, it was, it was kind of a fun, flashy, flashy game. Uh, but the main reason why I bring up Neopets is, uh, I had a really shit computer. And, um... And so I got to play all of their mini-games on, like, super slow motion. There's nothing like playing, like, slot machines at a tenth normal speed and becoming, like, a mega-millionaire. Uh, as a result, because this is like back in the early days of uh, Shockwave Media Player and stuff like that, like before Adobe even picked up Flash. So I got to be, I, I got to do like play the game uh, with effectively uh, real life cheat codes running, uh, which was, I mean, technically not not okay, but like whatever, who cares? Um, but. Yeah, I, I just got to, I got to, I got to use and abuse all sorts of little tricks that, you know, people with good computers didn't have to worry about. I actually had the same effect with Halo. I played Halo 1 on, um, I played Halo 1 on PC, uh, which was a really interesting experience because for years I actually thought Master Chief had white armor. Uh, you know, just kind of this glossy white look. And just in general, Halo looks like really cartoony, uh, which is fascinating. And um, and I thought it was I thought it was great. And then like years later, I played Halo Two, and uh, on my friend's Xbox uh, and co-op with my brother or whatever. And I was like, this game's kind of unplayable. Like everything's so fast. And why would Master Chief switch his armor out for like a uh, a green suit of armor. And my friend was like, what are you talking about? He's always been green. And I'm like, what? What? And so we played through Halo 1 in co-op as proper Master Chief. It was cool. Love the first Halo. It was one of the few first games that got into my head. I don't think Halo ever got into my head, but it, it was the first and one of the only games to ever actually scare me. The library was terrifying. Okay, so that was a functional mech. Yeah, I really I really hope they uh they actually release Halo 1 on um I really hope they release Halo 1. Well, not Halo 1. The the Halo uh, Master Collection. Master Chief Collection, whatever. The the remake, remaster, whatever you want to call it. On PC at some point. Because the idea of playing Halo cooperatively with my friends on PC would just be so nice. I don't like shooters on consoles. They're not fun. Honestly, I don't like most games on consoles. I, I, I've always been so confused as to why people don't just... 
why PC hasn't just like taken over the market. I guess it's because consoles are nice and easy to market and so on and so forth. Uh, makes me sad though, because like... I don't know. Big, it's like the most versatile platform. And I don't know, I just... I want to play through the Halo games. But I don't want to play through the Halo games with a controller, because it would be really awkward. I assume I'm not supposed to jump that, because that would be crazy. Huh. That's just putting a tower up. Okay, there we go. Huh. I am here now. Yeah, so the dungeons are just quiet. That's interesting. Do I go on the pipe? I can go back down. Yeah, okay. So it looks like I'm supposed to go down the pipe. I was like, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to walk on this thing or if I'm just going to instantly die if I step on it. The answer is, well, I didn't instantly die, so that's a good sign. <laughs> 